But I uh, made a mistake. I um, fortunately cross-threaded this one here. And I was like, man, it's a pain in the butt. And what am I gonna do? What up, what up? Welcome back to 2147 Crew. As you can see, I'm walking into Kingwood Harley Davidson because my man Ron from Ron's Adventures, uh, he called me, said that my lower fairing chin spoiler, whatever it's called, is in. So I'm super, super excited, man. So y'all stay tuned. Yeah. All right, my man Dustin's taking care of it, man. Opening this box right here. What? Yeah, it took a little while. What's going on, man? What's going on, brother? Oh, yeah. Yeah, dude. The initial inspection here. That's right, that's right. Courtesy of Kingwood Harley Davidson. That's right. Let's see, man. Oh, you got the new, is that new ink right there? Yeah. Oh, that looks good, dude. Yeah, you just got it the other day. You didn't have to tell me who did it. Oh, man. Well wrapped. I can already see that. Yeah, dude. That red line's Mr. Red. Let me see. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, that's the lower part, too. Mm -hmm. Ooh, look at that. Mm. Damn. Looking good, man. Damn, freshly painted. And then the other ones, I, I think it's just the other one piece for each side, right? I think, or something yeah, like that. Side, yeah. Side. Cool, man. Hell yeah, dude. Yeah, as soon as he called me, I'm like, we gotta go, man. I told yeah. my wife. I had just got home, too, from work. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay, cool. It's cool. not cool. like you can... Yeah. Just sitting home going down. I know it's in, but I don't want to go get it. Yeah. You want to go get it. Yeah. yeah. No, yeah, dude. That's awesome, dude. I'm going to take it. All right, everybody. So if you all need some parts from Kenwood Harley Davidson, you can see my man Dustin right here. Or you can call over and ask for, for Holly Ron, aka Hollywood. They take care of me, man. They'll take care of you guys. They won't charge you extra or anything. Right? Yes, sir. So you guys come see him. All right. Stay tuned. Okay, we're back home and I just wanted to show this piece again and again thank you to Kingwood Harley Davidson and Dustin and Hollywood over there for helping me out and uh, getting me these parts. So I got my little fingerprint smudges there, but man, this just looks killer, dude. It looks really, really nice. And just like I like to do with uh, all my videos, I'm going to get a really up close and personal uh, view of whatever product that is, but as you all know, you have to order these and they have to be um, uh, color matched through Harley. This is an authentic Harley Davidson uh, product here with their color match. And uh, man, it just looks, it just looks, I mean, it's brand new. I'm trying to see if there's any flaws in the paint or anything, but I don't see any, I mean, just my smudges, but you know, I'm moving it around here, but even right here, you know what I'm saying? So I'm trying to see if there's like, if I can identify, oh, look, even the inside, even the inside that's not seen is painted. But I'm trying to see if there's, you know, how sometimes they, they put these on the hook like this and paint them. And uh, I, I don't see it here. I don't know if that comes out there, but maybe here. Yeah, maybe right here where there's that little blemish right there. Uh, I'm guessing that's where like the hook kind of had this and they painted it. And if my theory is correct, then they held it like this, right? From this little thing here. And um, they just painted the whole thing, you know, however they do it. So in the back now, right? So it looks like, okay. So it looks like this was taped off, I think. Cause it's just very, or, or the painter's just that good, right? No overspray, right? But uh, they painted here. So it looks like they, they taped this inner part here. So whichever color you're going with, that's what you should be getting this. And yeah, so here just exactly, there's a tape here and uh, where they kind of went around here just to paint a little bit of an overspray there versus here. So again, there's no consistency. What this tells me is that this is hand painted. It's not like they have these on the shelf and you know, just the robots kind of going and then they're just going off of it. To, the, to me, you know, I got some painting experience from, uh, from my brothers. Um, and I can tell you that this is definitely hand painted and that was taken off by hand and there's this, but this is in the back so you won't see this. It's gonna go by the, 
um, electric, uh, or what is it, the fan assisted cooling oil cooler fan. And I'm sorry if I'm not saying that right, but it comes with the stage four kit. So this is gonna go there. And so it looks like they paint this here. It goes here and um, it looks like the base paint color is like a silver. I don't know if, that, if you can see that. So all you professional painters, let me know if I'm right. But it looks like it's like, um, like a silver. So it's this black, as you can see. And then it's like a silver base. And then they let that dry up. And then they put this red line red that Harley has. And then after that, obviously, they put a clear coating. So, and this is the result. So again, I got my fingerprint smudges here. So, uh, but yeah, no blemishes. I'm very, very happy with it. And now let's go to the next part. Okay, here's the next part. Let me go ahead, oh, move the camera there. And I just moved this other piece here. So here's the, the tape. So if you're wondering how long this, uh, this took to get here, I went and I ordered it at uh, their Kingwood Harley-Davidson. Oh, and by the way, if you're a veteran or a current service uh, member of the Armed Forces, they give you 10% off. So that's awesome. And they give you 10% off I want to say in everything with the exception on the motorcycle. But even if you buy a motorcycle, go see my man Kevin there and uh, you pretty much get it for MSRP. So if you're anywhere <laughs> that they're trying to screw you over or mark up even on the CBOs, um, you're not going to get that there. So, but uh, all right. So it comes covered with this bubble wrap and then this. So very well, very well packaged. Oh, again, I'm hitting the camera. So I'm sorry if I'm um, moving the view a lot. But, um, oh, oh yeah, so there's two pieces. That's right, it's one for the left and one for the right. So I'm gonna be careful, because last thing I wanna do is scratch my brand new part. This is, I'm so excited, everybody. So any, again, so if you guys go and order this, this is exactly how it's gonna come. And, um, and yeah, I'm just happy that this is an option for us road glides, road glide guys or people, because uh, I thought it's not exclusive to the CBOs. Oof, look at this. Yo, look at this. Man, I'm so excited. I cannot wait to get this installed. Look at this, man. It's just like very well nicely painted. The color is just on point. And of course, once I install it, we're gonna be able to see if there's a, a difference between the colors, but I, I don't anticipate that. And uh, again, just taped it, the, you know, they took the time to tape over this little paint into this, um, this uh, where the screw goes so that way it just uh, makes a better seal. And obviously if you're gonna use, you know, we're gonna lose, use uh, uh, blue Loctite on all this stuff here. But here's the showing here on the back side. And this is the, what the back looks like. And here's the part number. It's a PPE. Oh, wow. It's actually really good material here. So yeah, Harley badge. So obviously they mold it or whoever molds it for them, but they mold it there. Um, and here of course is where the tape was at. So obviously they they try not to paint what, what they don't have to paint, right? Because what's well, gonna be out of sight, out of mind. So yeah, so this is how it goes. Another thing everybody, in terms of this piece here, I just want everybody to note the the structure and the design of this, all of these things here, these ridges that go across, they're thicker. And this, these are obviously designed to make this piece just more robust and stronger. And like right now I'm trying to bend um, in and it's not bending at all because of this design that it has here. Kind of like in the trucks that they have those ridges on top of the roof for your SUVs. Same concept here, except with this material. So I'm trying to bend it in, which I shouldn't, but yeah, it's not moving. Same thing here. So very, very well. It's a thick, it's probably what, quarter inch thick, whatever that thickness is. But but yeah, same thing up here where the bolt's gonna go and paint it is there. Is that a blemish? Nope. Nope, very well, very well painted. And I cannot wait to get this installed. Um, yeah, so here as well. And again, I'm taking my time to show you all this because you know if you're wanting to order this or if you were thinking about ordering it, this is exactly what you're gonna get. So I'm gonna put this, put this one to the side here. Okay, so here 
is the second piece. So I think I got a lot of, I mean, great job for all the packaging, but <laughs> all right. So again, this is the bottom and this is going to be the right side. Yeah, as you're sitting on, this is gonna be the right side. So, okay. So this is the bottom of this piece here. I'm gonna sh I try to show a different angle of even uh, this part here, but again, you know, it's hand painted and yeah, the paint is actually kind of thick. So whatever that means, it's there and here it is. And again, very robust material here. Um, yeah, just the painting is, is good. The, the finish, the, I don't know if they polish it afterwards, but it looks like they did. And uh, the clear coat on it, it's good. I'm pretty sure that there's other, you know, local shops that just kind of go bananas and can just throw that, that clear layer on it, just make it look like almost like a marble. But um, for $500, this is not bad. This is not a bad kit. And uh, it's in their par parts catalog as uh, 500 bucks. But yeah, man, super excited. So again, I'm more concentrating this video on not just the unboxing, but actually getting the, this, sorry, getting this really, really close so you all can see the quality or lack thereof. But so far, personally, I'm very, very pleased with what I see here. And I am just even more excited to, uh, to get these installed. But this piece here, these three pieces were one of the first pieces that I wanted to install on the motorcycle, but when I bought my motorcycle, again, it's a 22 Road Glide. Um, uh, in January, they didn't have this piece. So, and here it looks like they missed the spot, but I think it's minute because, you know, the other, the front fairing is gonna just sit on this and this is just gonna be covered. So, you know, um, but just wanted to show that, but it's, it's not a record breaker because the piece goes up here and this is what you're gonna see, so. And besides with the vibrations of the bike, well, there's gonna be scratches there, so <laughs> you know we're good. But okay, so now I'm not gonna sell them tonight because uh, time has escaped me, but I'm gonna get these installed. I'm not gonna, there's, there's these other videos on there that um, show you how to install them, but I'm not gonna install them uh, show you how to install. I'm just going to show you what the real guy looks like once they're installed. But oh, there's one more piece, which is the hardware. I want to show you all the hardware that this comes with because I haven't even seen that. So again, if you all are trying to get this, well, it's kind of important for you all to know what you're going to get. But these are the three pieces. So let me get the hardware from the box here. And here they are. So, um, oh, sorry, sorry. There. Let me just put it like this. Let gravity work with me. Okay. So this is what you get. You get these brackets, and you get these uh, bolts that apparently have some kind of a uh, Loctite on there. So you're gonna get the instructions, right? So here are the instructions for the fairing spoiler kit, and. Um, tells you how to remove it. You know, uh, step one, prepare, uh, remove, and discard oil cooler cover. So we gotta take the oil cooler cover off because it's gonna get replaced by this beautiful, beautiful piece. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, so uh, moving on, you got these instructions here. Uh, here we go. Yeah, and it, you got some pictures here. So this is, these are the instructions. And I think that even if for some reason they weren't shipped, I think you can just, you know, download this from the Harley website. So put that there. And then we're gonna get, looks like two of these things here. I should probably set this up, better, but we're gonna get two of these things here, right here. And we are going to get one bracket. Um, I think I see another bracket in there. And I think that bracket was in this bag, but you know, I think it just came out. So we're gonna get, here's a second bracket here. And again, I'm sorry, I don't have this 
a bit organized, but I'm just so excited, man. I couldn't, <laughs> I couldn't help it. So those are the two pieces. And then we get all of these bolts. And we get one, two, three, four, five, and six, okay? And then we get four of these right here. Get two of these little flanges, whatever they're called, two of these little rubber grommets um, in there, and then we get four of these black um, bolts here. So, this is what you're gonna get in your hardware kit. So, now it all goes back in there, and uh, yeah, so I think tomorrow, once I get back home from uh, my normal day, <laughs> hopefully, it's not too long. I'm gonna get home. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna install this. And then I'm just gonna show you all what it looks like. So I'm gonna save you the, the time and uh, you know, not video the actual installation unless I come up with a problem that I'll bring the camera back up. But voila, middle of the installation. And I still, so I got the lower part on and I got this panel installed but it's not bolted in, it's not bolted in yet. But I wanted to show you all, so I need to put a bolt that goes down in here and a bolt that goes right in here. Uh, where is that, right in here? I don't know if you can see it, but it's, it goes right in there. That's probably a better view. So I gotta put that screw or the bolt that goes in there. And then the two that hold this here. And then I can slap on <laughs> the, uh, the, um, the shark nose fairing on top and it's gonna look dope, man. But I just wanted to show this because I think just like this already, already is setting the bike apart. You know what I'm saying? Already, it's just like, it's just completing the engine bay. So I haven't even like finished, but I'm just excited of even this look, like you got this red, 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 black, 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 red, 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 and of course you have that black. So maybe a carbon fiber, bearings coming but I don't know it's just too expensive for now but anyway but just look at this just just damn I mean it just looks it looks nice man I haven't even bolted it on or finished putting it on but I just wanted to show you all what this looks like so cool okay today is the next day everybody and I'm super excited again like I was just saying uh, last night but I uh, made a mistake so when I was trying to adjust this here uh, or tighten this up and just getting all kind of lined up because of this little uh, thing here that's not as perfectly as I want it to be, but I could probably just adjust that later. I um, fortunately cross-threaded this one here and I was like, man, it's a pain in the butt and what am I gonna do? Well, fortunately I had a tap and die set and if you're all ever wondering which one it is, at least the one that worked for me is this one. It's the 10N C24. 10NC24. So this is the the tap that you need in case these here get um, uh, you cross thread them like I did. But fortunately, the kit came with four new bolts, and I was able to use reuse one of the bolts that were already on here, and uh, I just made it work and uh, it worked good. So, but to verify what I did is I took this one here that I didn't cross thread, and I just put this tap in there and uh, went through no problem just to verify. So then that gave me confidence that. You know, I'm not a professional machinist, but I know how to get by with that stuff. And then um, I went ahead and put it in here and then I just, you know, took my time, got in there and uh, you can probably see here because it's the only time I've used it on that. Um, and I, since it was just a mild cross that I didn't have to put any oil on there, although it's highly, highly recommended. But if I'm trying to at some point put Loctite in here, once I'm done opening this up, then, um, you know, I did that. But I got a sound system uh, uh, coming in the future, but I have some of something else that put my sound system uh, in the back burner for now. And uh, until then, I don't foresee me having to take this this off again. So I just wanted to share that with you all, my mistake that, uh, that um, I did. So now back to the video. All right, and I think it went on very, very well. And it fits pretty, pretty good. So here, I'm just gonna show you to the back side. You have a screw here, a bolt that you have to do. You have a bolt right here. I don't know if you can see it, but my index finger is touching. You got a bolt right there. And then you got these two that are supplied, but you know, they're the same size as the ones that come. 
and then obviously here but uh, but yeah i think the fitment is good the lining is uh is pretty good it's like there's no gap there's no gap on the other side there's a little bit more gap um i tried to adjust it but um you know it is what it is and nonetheless but it's 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 small it's like it's not huge but there's a little gap but this here looks really good then down here too i was concerned that it wasn't fitting well but what happened was this piece right here to me felt like it was just too far out kind of like uh, angled in and then out and uh, i just didn't like it but after a tying of that bolt in there you just lined it all up so all in all very nice fit and i like that it kind of goes over the uh the brake reservoir right here i think that's pretty cool so um i'm not sure if yeah i guess it and so the nice thing is it gives you a little bit of room if you need to take the reservoir cap off so that's cool so everything is nicely engineered and cut to spec to what i can see here and uh yeah I, i'm super excited but i think it just completes the look i think it just looks it just looks awesome man so today or tonight is it's actually late in the night hours but i had some free time and i just had a really long day and uh you know i stayed up late and got this done so i could show you all and also because i'm just super excited so but you know let me check right here yeah same thing very nice even fit i get to the touch and over here is where i notice where the gaps a little bit more you see so um nothing crazy here it fits perfectly fine right here there's no my fingernail going in here but right here my fingernail is able to go in it's very small but um it's not a deal breaker for me but i probably just need to adjust it a little bit more um, and i think that'll take care of that because the other side was fine so but yeah i mean i just like the the look and the contrast i mean look at this again dirty dirty clean with fingerprints I'll, I'll get it together guys i'll get it together but i'm going to show you all what it looks like in the sun right after this well it's dark outside not right after this but uh <laughs> at some point so this is kind of a longer video than expected but i wanted to show you all what it looks like and kind of you know see if y'all like it but i like it and i think it just changes the look i mean i can't stop staring at it like i think i'm just gonna pop a cold one and just watch look at the bike <laughs> you know what i mean it just yeah and then with a headline from adam and blank again thank you my first sponsor to the channel and uh yeah i mean don't it look a little futuristic like with the headlight and all that i had to turn on the lights everybody and uh <laughs> yeah buddy i mean damn look at this man that's low beam again 4000k i mean 4k from my advent blank i mean yeah man and then of course the sleek lights there from custom dynamics see the side view there they are bright too <laughs> man look at here And of course, the carbon fiber wheels in front, the Galfer rotors, the uh, carbon fiber fender from Big Bear Choppers, performance out of Cali, and just uh, the Roguelide, man. Yeah. Yeah. 